Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about the use of pmcd command in Informatica. So running command in command line mode or running pmcd command in command line mode. A uh, command line mode invokes and exit a uh, pmcd is time you issue a command. A uh, command line mode is useful if we want to run a uh, pmcd commands through batch files. A script or etc. programs. To show you the use of pmcd command in Informatica. So first I am going to create a one to one mapping. Uh, so let's show uh, drag or source table into mapping. And at here give the mapping name m or pm or cmd. And uh, now drag target table. Or select all or ports and drag into target and or save the mapping. Mapping is valid. And now let's create a uh, workflow and session. So add here give the connection object. I'm using a Scott schema. And now click next. So add here uh, the workflow name wf underscore m underscore pmcmd. Uh, so let's uh, click workflow. A workflow manager. So our uh, workflow is uh, wm underscore m underscore pmcd pm cmd. Uh, so drag into workflow design now. And uh, now click on uh, session add here. I specify already a Scott connection. It's okay. No need to change and add here a Scott connection there. So no need to change. And add here change the uh, target load tag to normal. And uh, uh, save the workflow. And now uh, click on uh, start workflow. Uh, let's uh, run again. Uh, start the workflow. So at your uh, session and workflow get succeeded. Uh, record loaded, uh, loaded successfully. Uh, this time I used Informatica level to start the workflow. Now I am going to use a uh, pmcmd command to start the workflow. Uh, so that's all about uh, 
using PMC uh, PM CMD command. So that you are running a uh, command in a uh, command command line mode. So that you are I am going to uh, copy this uh, line. Uh, so that here pm cmd uh, is the command and uh, start workflow uh, so that here start a uh, workflow sv uh, means uh, service and at here my in uh, my in or uh, service so there you have to write to uh, integration service name so my integration service uh, name is int so at the right int and uh, a default domain so now i am going to check uh, my domain So at your uh, my domain name or uh, domain underscore bin uh, slash or uh, nine triple eight four one uh, four i zero double j triple j m. So you can't copy from here. So write to uh, domain underscore and a rest part uh, so the uh, full computer name uh, let's copy and uh, paste it there and uh, at your next part uh, you for user or uh, name so let's uh, check the username Uh, right click uh, to repository and after properties uh, so add your username or uh, administrator uh, copy and paste over there and uh, my password administrator all in a small letter and uh, and after f or oh, that is folder name so my folder name or uh, dw underscore dev And after the workflow name wf underscore m underscore pm cmd. <clears throat> uh, so now let's uh, check uh, pmcd or uh, command directory in informatica. So at your my computer here after Informatica 9.5.1 or uh, search server and pin and uh, press uh, P. So look at there PMCMD. So the location or uh, uh, is uh, C drive Informatica folder 9.5.1 server pin. So let's copy that one. And now open uh, CMD. 
command line add here or write or cd that is for change directory and uh, paste to that location and uh, press enter so directory uh, get change and uh, add here or uh, copy the command and uh, paste into uh, cmd and now So add here or place into uh, so add here I am getting the error invalid option. Uh, so let's uh, fix that here. So add here I am missing a uh, uh, user that is for administrator and at there we have to write a uh, p for password. So add here administrator or you and administrator and a uh, password or uh, p is not there so that i am getting the error uh, so let's so uh, include p and now copy uh, that command again and uh, paste uh, there and press enter so informate go in work side to there uh, so that you are connected to integration service and a starting workflow so look at the uh, by using the command line uh, we can also start the workflow so workflow and this one is in running state. Uh, so at here connected to integration service int is starting workflow wf underscore m underscore pmcd info is starting execution of workflow wf underscore m underscore pmcd in folder dwd last set and uh, disconnect from the integration service uh, completed at sun august uh, 16 or uh, date 2015 uh, so at here uh, session get uh, succeeded and uh, workflow succeeded also uh, so let's uh, um, execute uh, pmcd uh, command again uh, so pmcd start workflow sp in integration service d4 domain or uh, uh, domain underscore w system name and add here a uh, u for administrator user that is p4 password f4 folder or uh, folder name dwd and uh, add here wfm or uh, pmcd that is a workflow name also uh, let's uh, press enter so again a uh, uh, workflow will run so add here invoke at Sunday August 16 connecting to integration service INT and a starting workflow RWF so uh, look at the uh, workflow is in running a state uh, so add here session get succeeded and uh, workflow also and uh, records uh, successfully loaded into the target table uh, so this time i use a uh, pm or uh, cmd command to run a uh, workflow so i hope guys you understand the use of pm cmd uh, command so now it's all uh, done at you thanks for watching see you next week